Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is what kind of gametes and what proportion will form individual with genotype as follows. Show the genes on the chromosomes. Take a look. Let's say this is one chromosome and this is another chromosome and this individual is homozygous for the gene A. That means on each chromosome this individual has dominant allele A. And as for the gene B, this individual is heterozygous. That means that he has dominant allele on one chromosome and recessive allele B on the other chromosome. And this individual is recessive for the gene C. That means that he has recessive allele C on each chromosome. In the gamut we can find whether this chromosome or this chromosome. And the ratio is going to be 1 to 1. You may ask what if we will have a crossing over. Let's take a look. For example, what would happen if crossing over would happen here. And take a look. We will have one chromosome that is capital A, small b and small c. But this is the same uh, variant that we have here. And here we have capital A, capital B and small c. But this is exactly this variant that we have here. So this crossing over doesn't change anything. No frequencies. No, it's going to create new variations in the uh, chromosomes. Let's take a look what would happen if crossing over would happen here between gene B and C. And in this case what we are going to have capital A capital B and small c. But this is exactly what we have here. And another variant would be capital A small b and small c. But this is exactly what we have here. So as you see crossing over is not going to change these uh, frequencies and variants of the chromosomes that gametes would receive. And the ratio is going to be the same. And second question, what kind of gametes and what proportion will form individual with genotype which is heterozygous for the gene A and heterozygous for the gene B. Let's use for client method. So we have organism that is heterozygous for the gene A. So we will have capital A here, small a here or dominant allele A and recessive allele A. And next, so this is gene A. And as for the gene B, uh, again, we will have two variants. It can be with a dominant allele B or recessive allele B. Dominant allele B or recessive allele B. And we will have one, two, three, four variants of the gametes in this case. So one genotype can produce four variants of the gametes. And the ratio is going to be one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter, or 25% each. So probability of having uh, these genotypes in the progeny is going to be the same. But our picture would uh, be different if uh, we would know that these genes are unlinked or closely linked. Take a look. One chromosome, second chromosome. On one chromosome we have dominant allele A. On another we have recessive allele A. On one we have dominant allele B. On another we have recessive allele B. In the progeny we can see this variants of the chromosomes with two dominant alleles. This is this variant and we call this variant maternal uh, variant or it can be paternal variant and another one is here. So we also can find it in a progeny uh, which is going to be small a and small b and this two would result in the process of recombination because we don't see here uh, variant capital A and small b, it's only can be a result of the recombination if 
uh, crossing over is going to happen somewhere here. It can be here, 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 in many, many places. If two genes are separated by the large distance, uh, these alleles or genes would be on the tip of the chromosomes. The ratio is going to be one quarter for each. But what is going to happen if we'll move, for example, gene B here. So this is going to be new position and recessive allele B is going to be here. Then uh, crossing over is going to happen in much less frequency. For example, here is a distance is great and we probably would see pictures that would be like this one when two alleles, two genes on the uh, tips of the chromosomes. But if you'll move very close, then uh, we would see that proportion of the recombinant would be smaller. And for example, we will see something like this. So 45% would be uh, one type of the chromosome, 45% another type of the chromosome, and recombinant would make say 5% each. Because if two genes are very close, recombination just doesn't happen as frequently when two genes are on the tips of the chromosomes. And we will see it as change in recombinant chromosomes frequencies. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.